Good morning, St. B's. It's Mr. Sullivan. I hope everyone is doing great today. Uh, I've missed you and might get to see you this morning on the church lawn if weather permits. Right now, it's where I'm when I'm recording this, it's raining pretty badly. So uh, hopefully that will clear up. But happy Palm Sunday. Uh, it's a big day in the church calendar, and you might know what happens on Palm Sunday. Our gospel reading is uh, from the story of what happens with Jesus on that day. So let me read from us for us uh, from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, and it starts in verse 1. And it's, the heading is the triumphal entry. And triumphal uh, is a hard word. It's a big word. It means uh, victory. So there's, the people are cheering like there's a victory. Okay? So here we go. As Jesus and the disciples approached Jerusalem, they came to the town of Bethphage on the Mount of Olives. Jesus sent two of them ahead. He said, go into the village over there and you will see a donkey tied up with its colt beside it. Until untie them and bring them here. If anyone asks what you are doing, just say, the Lord needs them. And he will immediately send them. This was done to fulfill the prophecy. Tell the people of Israel, look, your king is coming to you. He is humble, riding on a donkey, even on a donkey's colt. The two disciples did as Jesus said. They brought the animals to him and threw their garments over the colt, and Jesus sat on it. Most of the crowd spread their coats on the road ahead of Jesus, and others cut branches from the trees, palm trees, yeah, and spread them on the road. He was in the center of the procession, and the crowds all around him were shouting, Praise God for the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The entire city of Jerusalem was stirred as he entered. Who is this, they asked. And the crowds replied, it's Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. And here ends the reading from God's holy word and the gospel of Matthew. So this is a very special day. Palm Sunday, uh, you might remember in past Palm Sundays, we wave our palms over our heads and we shout Hosanna and we sing songs together uh, to Jesus, for Jesus, and uh, we proclaim his victory. Now, the people back then were proclaiming victory too. They didn't know exactly what it would look like, did they? Uh, there was a lot to happen to Jesus this coming week in his life right? Uh, we're headed to Good Friday very soon, five days away, is when Jesus is nailed to the cross for you and me and for all of us. So that's a big day. Uh, and so Jesus knows this, but here he is riding in to the city on a donkey and allowing the people to praise him and worship him and wave their palms and put their coats down on the ground. So even his donkey's hooves don't get dirty. Isn't that something? Well, um, you might know this, that Jesus said, if, if you don't praise God, you and me and all the people, if we don't praise God, do you know what? He can make it happen. He can make the very rocks to cry out and praise him. Okay, so you know what I did today? You're going to like this, I hope. I hope you're going to like this. I brought some rocks with me. Okay, I'm going to show you. Here are my rocks. I brought five rocks. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, right? And uh, they're, they're rocks that my family and I collect when we go on hikes. I think this one was from a hike here in Tennessee somewhere. You can see the different layers. And this one is probably from a stream. It's been washed by the water. This one I think was near the ocean. It's almost perfectly round. And uh, this one has layers in it too and is almost like a triangle. So I love these rocks. This one's kind of flat and almost has like a, there's a cross shape in it a little bit. I think that's why one of us picked it up. It had a somewhat of a cross shape to it. Well, uh, these guys wanted to get together and, um, you know, sing us a concert, a rock concert. 
<laughs> get it? A rock concert. Oh, I, I forget how funny I can be sometimes. But uh, anyway, these guys wanted to sing for us. So um, let's listen. Okay, here they go. Ready? They've been practicing. Okay. I'm not hearing anything. Are you hearing anything? No, I just hear the rain outside my window here. Um, maybe they're shy. Okay, wait, I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna talk to them a second. Hold on, off, off camera. Okay, guys, guys, it's okay. You can sing. They're, they're very nice kids out there from St. B's. Yes, I know them, they're kind. Uh, they'll clap for you at the end. Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, okay, all right. So here we go, another rock concert from my friends, ready? It, it, it's not happening. I don't know what's going on. You know what I think is going on? I think that because the rocks aren't singing, it is still time for you and for me to sing God's praises. Mm -hmm. That uh, we still need to be worshiping our Lord, waving our palms, shouting Hosanna, thanking God for his amazing gift of Jesus, what he means for us, what he does for us, how he now lives in us by his spirit, we can praise him, right? So the rocks, you guys can have a break. You don't need to sing yet. And maybe you'll never sing because we wanna keep singing Jesus's praises and love and glory to the whole wide world. And I want you to think about this. If my rocks could sing, I wonder what they'd say. Like this rock, you know, this rock might be, I don't know, a rock that uh, the prophet Elijah might have used to build his uh, altar on the mountain when he had um, a contest with those false prophets to see whose God was the real God. This, God. this rock might say, our God is the one true God, not these false prophets gods. Yeah, that's what he might say. This rock, who knows, this rock might be used by Solomon wise King Solomon, who had a big job. His big job was to build God's temple. And this rock could say, I get to be a part of a beautiful temple to the Lord. This rock looks like a ball, like we said. This rock could be used maybe by David when he was, before he was king, when he was a boy. You might remember he went into a very famous battle, just him and the Lord against a big, big giant named Goliath. And just one stone is all David needed to defeat the giant because God was on his side. So this rock would remind us that with God, we can do anything. This rock, who knows, maybe this rock could be used by uh, Nehemiah. Nehemiah is a prophet. He speaks for God too. And he helped the people to build the walls of Jerusalem when they had been knocked down by these really hard-hearted bad guys. So he helped rebuild the walls. This rock might say, God is our protector. He puts a wall around us. He keeps us safe from bad guys. And if this rock could talk, this rock being kind of flat and something maybe you could write on. Remember, God wrote the law on rock for Moses. The Ten Commandments were written on rock. And that God has is holy. He reminds us he's holy. He has laws that he wants us to obey so that we can love him well and we can love each other well. So maybe that's what this rock would say. And you might remember that Jesus talks about rocks too. Jesus says that the wise man builds his house on the rock, right? And that's a very important thing. When we build our house on a rock, when there's a storm like there's been around Nashville lately, if your house is built on rock, it's gonna stay solid in the rock. If it's built on sand, right? Then Jesus talks about the foolish man, the man who's not so wise, he builds his house on sand. And when the storms come, it gets knocked down. So maybe these rocks help remind us that we want to build our house on Jesus and it will stay strong in storms. So even though these guys couldn't sing to us today, even though they were a little shy on their concert, they remind us that we need to keep praising God. It's still time for us to do that. And you can think about all the different rocks there are in God's Bible that tell us wonderful stories about who he is and what he does for us. Amen. Well, thanks for listening to this. I hope your Palm Sunday is glorious and that we'll head into Holy Week. Maybe we'll see each other more. Uh, there's some outside things going on for St. B's and some uh, 
some things even in the big sanctuary, the, the nave, where we uh, might see each other. I hope so. Until then, let me pray for us, and uh, you have a wonderful Sunday. Dear Jesus, we love you so much. Thank you that you are our rock. Thank you that uh, you command us to praise you. So we do want to do that. We want to say with our lips, Hosanna to you. Thank you for being our king. Thank you for reigning and ruling and uh, defeating sin and death for us. Uh, bless us today. Bless us this week as we prepare to get, uh, get our hearts ready for Easter, that glorious day when you rose from the dead. Uh, thanks for being with us now. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends. Bye, St. Bees. Love you all.